Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training website passmyinterview.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to pass a volunteer interview. So if you are applying to volunteer for any organisation whatsoever you will need to pass an interview and within this tutorial to help you pass it this is what I will cover. I will give you a list of volunteer interview questions that I strongly advise you prepare for. I will give you brilliant, unique answers to difficult volunteering interview questions. I will give you some really important tips on how you can stand out during your volunteer interview. And I will also tell you how you can get access to further resources, including these slides and the answers to help you succeed. And just very quickly, please do make sure you subscribe to this channel. Lots of you are passing your interviews as a result. I don't want you to miss out. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video and please do give the video a thumbs up because that tells me you find the content useful. Thank you very much. The first question I want you to prepare for, for your volunteer interview is tell me about yourself. So this is going to be the first volunteer interview question they will ask you. And in your response, talk about the skills and qualities you have that will make you a great volunteer and also explain what you will do in the position if they take you on as a volunteer. So here is my example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. I am a positive person who genuinely believes you get out of life what you are prepared to put in. I am a very giving person who enjoys working alongside other like-minded people who want to make a difference in the work they are doing. Now, over the years, I have gained lots of transferable skills and qualities that I feel would be suited to the position of volunteer. I am considerate and caring. I am a good communicator. I am a good organiser and I work well as a supportive team member. I appreciate you get lots of people applying to volunteer, but my own values, my work ethic and my genuine passion for wanting to help make a difference help me to stand out. Now, if you take me on, I promise to be a committed volunteer who acts as a positive role model for your organisation and what you stand for. So that's a very, very good answer. And it will set you up for the rest of your volunteer interview with confidence. Now, you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them. Or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 19 volunteering interview questions and top scoring answers including the ones we are covering today. Here is the next question. Why do you want to become a volunteer? So this question is guaranteed to come up during your volunteering interview. My advice is to talk about your passion for their cause and how you want to make a positive, long-lasting difference in the position of volunteer for their organisation. So here's the perfect answer to help you. Why do you want to become a volunteer? I want to become a volunteer because this is a cause I am very passionate about and I am looking to make good use of the time that I have available. I want the skills, the qualities and the attributes that I have built up over the years to be put to good use and working as a volunteer will help me to achieve that goal. I am also at the stage in my life where I want to gain different experiences working for an organisation that genuinely wants to make a difference in the community. Being a volunteer will be hugely rewarding and whilst I know it will be hard work, I will get to work alongside other like-minded people who are all striving to make a positive difference in everything they do. That's another really, really good answer to that common volunteer interview question, why do you want to become a volunteer? Now, don't go anywhere because I still have many more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 19 volunteer interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are covering today during this tutorial. Here is the next question. Why do you want to volunteer for our organisation? So again, this question is guaranteed to come up during your volunteer interview. So let's make sure we give them a brilliant answer. Now, my advice is to focus on their mission statement and the values of the organisation and how these are something you too are passionate about. So here's a great answer to help you. Why do you want to volunteer for our organisation? Before applying to volunteer for your organisation, I carried out some research and I also read your mission statement and your values. You have a brilliant reputation and what you are trying to achieve here is something I am very passionate about. 
You want to help people build better futures for themselves. And everything you do, whether it's fundraising or holding events, is all geared towards making a positive difference. I also spoke to several people who have volunteered for you before and they had nothing but positive things to say about you. That's another really strong answer to help you stand out from the competition. Here is the next question. How do your core values align to those of our organisation? Now, all charity and volunteering organisations have several important values. My advice is to make sure you learn those values and explain how they are aligned to your own. Here is my example answer to help you. How do your core values align to those of our organisation? My own core values include integrity, community involvement, listening, empathy and understanding and trustworthiness. Having researched the values of your organisation, I believe these are a close match for my own. Now, in respect of integrity and trustworthiness, I will always do the right thing and I will be committed to the role. I am a good communicator and I understand that for communication to be effective as a volunteer, you have to be a good listener too. I have an abundance of empathy and understanding and I believe it is important to contribute positively to your local community. It is very easy to be someone who always takes from the community, but to give something back through volunteering would make me feel valued and fulfilled. That's another really, really good answer. Let's have a look at another question. What relevant experience do you have that will help you to be a great volunteer. Now, to be effective as a volunteer, you need a number of important skills, including great communication, adaptability and flexibility, resilience and empathy and understanding. So here's my example answer to assist you. What relevant experience do you have that will help you to be a great volunteer? I have lots of life and work experiences that I feel will help me to become a strong and productive volunteer. I am very good with people and I have experience of developing and maintaining positive relationships that are built on trust and integrity. I have experience of communicating with a diverse range of individuals and groups. This means I can adapt my style of communication to suit an audience. I have experience of dealing with confrontation and conflict and I always remain calm and in control during these types of situations. I have experience of solving problems and working methodically to achieve an objective. Finally, my experience of being organised and consistent in my work is another area I believe will help me to quickly get up and running in this volunteer role. That's a great answer because you are giving a wide range of different experiences you have that will help you to become a brilliant volunteer for their organisation. So the next thing to do is please click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com, take a look at my 19 volunteer interview questions and you also have the opportunity to download all of the answers, including the ones that we have gone through today in a PDF guide. It will make a huge difference to your interview preparation, so I strongly recommend you get a copy. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Lots of you are passing your job interviews. Don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. And please give the video a thumbs up. That always motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the best for passing your volunteering interview. Have a brilliant day.